What is up, everyone? Welcome back to some more Red Dead. I finally emotionally recovered from the last one, and I'm ready to explore the town that I kept calling St. Denis when it's really St. Denise. So let's just jump right into it. Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh>. Oh, God. <laughs> that voice, like, threw me off for a second. Okay, sorry, there was like no sound for... <laughs> there are so many problems with OBS, I swear to god, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? I'm terrified. Funny's America's dirty little French secret. The morning. <laughs> That's why we love it. Bone and ribs. Mm. I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Hmm, you can't talk to anyone. Get washed away. Everyone was watching me. Yeah, yeah, they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened hey, yet. Hey, can I get a drink here? I'll get you in a second. Let me take Over a here. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. But I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, <laughs> you look like a whiskey man. Sure. How'd you know? <laughs> For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. Oh. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. <laughs> no, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave mm. it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Ah, okay. <laughs> no one wants. Bronte? Oh. Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian. Spaghetti eating. Long streak of piss big. And it makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? You okay? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get. Bronte in the alley. Oh, oh God. Hey, friend. You will be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. <laughs> that was so random. Um. Okay. Let's go do that. But I kind of wanted to get a haircut first. <laughs> All I did was like get a vest, and then I realized that my audio wasn't on. <laughs> I'm not feeling the vest though. I kind of want to not have it on right now. I don't know. It's not the right outfit, you know. I'm gonna go with this outfit. I don't know, I just like this one. Right now. <laughs> I can't- I'm so hard at like, changing <laughs> my outfits. But we are gonna get a haircut. That is one thing I definitely wanted to do today, so. In this alleyway? Can I even go through here? Oh, I can. <laughs> I opened that so aggressively. Hmm. Interesting. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a He's fellow like named eight. Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, uh, I don't trust whoever is behind me. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. How much you would five dollars be back then? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. But I'd be considered Come on, rich. Then. <laughs> With my three thousand. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. Yeah, I met him already. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model Damn. on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. 
My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the <laughs> most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. I knew it. I told you. I told you I didn't trust him. I should just shoot him. Let him run. Damn it. <laughs> but no, we won't. Don't get hit by that goddamn thing. Where's my horse? Aren't you listening to me? You give that back. I knew it. <laughs> Horsey, where are you when I need you the most? <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> These damn kids. Oh Thanks shit. Help, that was like weird. I thought he went past there. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Tired yet, old man? Oh, there he is. I found him. <laughs> Where are you going? Come back. Excuse me. Why would he? Like, I knew it. I told you I didn't trust the kid in the back. I fucking knew it. the right thing to do or hi excuse me <laughs> that lady's like <laughs> probably very confused i'm being chased by the village idiot ah, God damn it. this kid's so gonna get hurt doing this something nice, mister, I promise. Stop, shit. you're gonna be spending it on your medical bills if you're not you careful <laughs> Kids, I swear. It's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> that lady is me. Ugh, kid. Hey, watch yourself. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. I didn't even see him. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> get up. <laughs> Arthur would fall. That's me. <laughs> I was not expecting him to break through that. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Hmm. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... Apparently he's got a lot of kids working for him, which is kind of odd. We ain't friends. Hmm. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Flavian hey, Street Yoko. Or if they took now, anything. Get out of here. <laughs> Can't trust him. <laughs> And that's why you always keep your bag in the front of you. That's what I do. Hmm. <laughs> Stupid kids. <laughs> okay, well, before we go to Dutch, I want a haircut. That's what I want. Where's the haircut? The barber. Run! Where is this? Got him. Horsey! <laughs> Come to me. I don't want to lose track of you. There's so many horses in this city. There's too many people. 
We're not used to this. Where are you? I need to brush you. Horsey, oh, I missed you. Come here. It's been so long. Oh. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Let's brush you. And feed you. Nom, nom, nom. And pat you. I miss you. You're a good boy. traffic. Oh. What the hell? I did not mean to go on? so fast. <laughs> Sorry. I need to eat uh, food myself, though. Nom nom. Such weather. <laughs> I'm flushed. Huh. Can I scoop your needle? Nice. Well, please take a seat. So, what do you need? Okay, we're doing it. First, we need a trim. How short do I want it? I don't want to go too short. That's, uh, looks oh. pretty good. That's what it does. How long does that last? Okay. Middle part fade. What did I get last time? Did I get a fade last time? I like the middle part on him. It really brings out his his bone structure. <laughs> Fellers will be jealous of a part like this. Yes, That's what sir. I'm saying. <laughs> nice. And then here's the here's the moment, guys. I'm tempted. We I'm gonna go a full shave. I might regret it, but hair always grows back. <laughs> Should I do it? Oh god. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Man's Clean whiskers shape. can make or break his whole deportment, you know. We did it. <laughs> Please tell your friends about us. So I feel like he has like a good like face structure, you know. So I feel like he can pull off anything. I like the sound of my horse riding as we walk down the street. Hey, ma'am. Bonjour. Over here. Where are you? I got some stuff that I want to do, Dutch. <laughs> you like my new haircut? Getting robbed? Who by? Getting a haircut? <laughs> I won't Damn, I look good. <laughs> but I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. And has a ton of kids working good for work. him. So what now? We go pay him a visit. Mm -hmm. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I agree. <laughs> Back as soon as possible. Oh? I cannot decide which I like less. Mm. The swamps or the city. <laughs> Both are full of parasites, reptiles, <laughs> and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. And far from real open country. I kind of feel that too, though. The joys of civilization. I wanted to sell some things so I could have more room. Where are you? 
Oh, you have your own, like... Wow, they have their own thing. That's pretty crazy. Hi, I'm going to sell some stuff with you. Do I need all of these? I'll keep the platinum one. Shit, I shouldn't have sold that. <laughs> Damn it. A pen? I mean, do I need a pen? An emerald? Do I need- I might need an emerald later, I don't know. Who wanted- didn't someone want, like, a necklace or something? I gave a necklace to... was it... Tilly? Was it Abigail that wanted something this time? I can't remember what she wanted. See you later. Whoa. Come along. You got a cool hair. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Joe You know when you have one of those days? Hiya, hiya. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, sorry, lady. I'm just like walking right into her. I <laughs> couldn't escape. And it's nice because there's a trapper here. Is there something else? Do I have anything to give you? Right. Let's see. Not really. Why can't I give you gun oil? <laughs> it's such a odd thing that I could give the trapper. Thank you. Really. Hey, move it. Well, I'm sorry. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you <laughs> are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a you have it in you. Work, Father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Hmm. I'll done it. Sure. I got a Bless lot you, right sir. now. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool. But, well, Wait, how did I get my hair back? He's the best man I know. <laughs> That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post. For shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Oh. Hey, you're Investigate the shop. I definitely want to do that. We're going to put a stop to this. Don't buy it, little fruit. Come buy the bell. Sorry, chicken. Okay, get out of the way, chicken. <laughs> I got business. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Who? Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. 
Just pull the big red book called the Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Hmm, did you try and shoot me? I swear to God. The big red book. Don't tell the police, please. He's running. He ran out. I heard him run. <laughs> Hello? Gadgete, gadgete. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm sorry. You guys okay? Ajudanos. It's awful. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Quien eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Oh my Jesus, Arthur. Why you got the gun now? <laughs> I was just trying to look. <laughs> you guys are like... Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. Hopefully they're just around him off again. He's gone, I told you. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Hmm. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres, y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. No. Will they chase me? Okay, cool. I can run. I was like, am I allowed to run? <laughs> Will they lose track of me? Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes. Thank you. I, uh, here, payment for your services. No, you keep it. I could not have freed these men myself. Keep it so you can feed them. No. No. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Gasper Street in St. Francis. There's another question mark over here. There's so much to do in this town. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> so many new things. But I also do want to go back and see if we missed anything in, in roads. And possibly even Valentine's. me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. <laughs> two brandies, bud. <laughs> it's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Yeah, it's that's expensive. Oh. Jesus. Thank you. Santé. <gasps> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How, dare How does Arthur have his hair back? <laughs> I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm. Not too. <laughs> Not too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. 
You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. <laughs> mm, you know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, <laughs> that is truth. Breasts is truth. Listen carefully. It's for idiots. You it's the so. truth. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, <laughs> unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. <laughs> Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a random stranger. That was interesting. Eight dollars. Oops, that's not it. Oh, it is it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Let's get going, boa. I'm totally gonna get hit by one of those trolleys. <laughs> Let's go see what this police department looks like. If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. Let's see. Hundred dollars. Damn. Lindsay Wolford. Whoops. I want to read it. Hundred dollar reward. Captured dead or alive. As the leader of the... Wait a second. <laughs> Didn't we kill him? <laughs> Didn't he die? Am I crazy? Was that the Lemoyne readers? No, or is that the... No, that was the Lemoyne. Right? Hmm. We'll go see. You going after Lindsay Wolford? Well, I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, I might just want to hang his poster up <laughs> on my wall. God damn it. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamone Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of all of us. <laughs> Don't tell them I said that. <laughs> the bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. Hmm. Interesting. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body died. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. Uh -huh. With the bounties for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. If that's all, I'll get after him. If your hand is false, then so be it. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Okay, we got it. Let's get out of here. Another stranger? On my way down. Wow. It's gotta be over here, right? Hi, someone fishing. Can you stay there? Oh! Wait, isn't it the card guy? You okay, buddy? Fantastic. 
you Americans awesome. are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, <laughs> like I say. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver-tongued American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Mm. Oh, Intriguing. it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power <laughs> remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen. What about oh, ladies and a more? <laughs> yes. Hello, hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. A demonstration of my infinite <laughs> insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using <laughs> waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. Whoa. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor... Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, I think buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any more? Oh, God, do please. It. I am about to oh, no. Here, Not me. This and this and uh, don't touch that. Okay. Oh, God. Use these ones to steer and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. I can't see. What the hell? Show me the... Hey! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what the technology can do in the hands of certified genius! Oh, I get and it. I have certificate. There we go. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. <laughs> Tell it to do close to the battleship and it's shoot with torpedo. I'm going for this one. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pony system underwater. Only Gotta get the big one. In the air. This is remarkable. Think of those cool boys on the HL Humley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Busatana. Oh, Jesus. What a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an oh, unmanned God. killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Even little boats can see, okay? Please. Must destroy all boats. I will rid them all. <laughs> Damn it, I missed. How did I miss that? There we go. No! 
Show them one more to prove. Nice, nice. Ah, run away. It's coming towards me. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. There it is. Let's get the big one. I don't know if we have to get rid of all of them, but I did. <laughs> Faster! How fast can it go? I wonder if I can hit it from here. Why not? No. No. There. I'm gone for you. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we only have to go for the next one. Now bring the boat okay. back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting duck. Next, he will show you the moving ducks. Well, all right. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> it's gonna explode. This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pong. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. <laughs> Shush, you're not here for this smart talk. Oh God. There's people swimming in here. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass oh, this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really all work on your sales machine. Damn it. This one's so fast. All you think about is sales! Just glad the breeze ain't up. Oh god, I need to get away. Faster! Faster, turn! Turn faster, please. God. He's not controlling that thing. I assure you, I am probably I am. That's a trick. It's on a rail, it must be. <laughs> Look who rules the seas. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I was like, Very there's good. no way I can bring turn fast enough. Back here. I say look out for mines. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly hard. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Easy. Well done. Well, I'm done. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. It's like that guy's gonna come back. <laughs> It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is It is very cheap. Perhaps so Maybe. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a Dover visit. Dover Hill. Uh, there, I will really amaze you. I kind of want to do that. That'd be interesting <laughs> to see what he has I to come up with. I hope you will forgive my... Uh, why are you in there? Okay. Now we can go look at what horses they have. Because I was curious before we leave.
welcome to you and your horse. We've got some stable space for rent if you're interested. Ooh. That's expensive. But it's on sale. 787. I mean, I could afford it. But man, I know. That's why I, okay. We're going to go back and see if the horses are still there. If not, then I'll buy a horse, but <laughs> I want to see Where was it? Right here. This is where the horse stable was. We're going to go there. I need to see if there is still the horses there. Not like anyone lives here anymore, right? <laughs> My place now. I wonder how burned down it is. Is that it? Whoa. I suppose it didn't burn down the other houses. trouble for doing this. <laughs> Maybe I should not be here. I feel bad, but whoopsies. Who's the witness? Go! What? What? My horse is freaking out right now. think killing Braithwaite's would lower my honor. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> I thought it was okay. Whoopsies. What's my honor at now? There we go. Okay, it's still high. So, I mean, I, I do pretty good things all the time. All it'll take is me saying hi to a few people in town and it'll be okay. Damn, she... She's a captain, that's for sure. Did this house not have a basement? Oh, sorry, horsey. You can stay over there if you want. Let's go over here. <laughs> Damn it, I thought fireplaces always had stuff. <gasps> Do I hear horses? Aha! Uh -huh. What are you? More again? Let's see you. Chestnut Pino. Look at all these little horsies. A Palomino. Kentucky Sadler. Are these all the ones they have? It's like my first horse, isn't it? There's none in here? Hmm. 
Damn it. I was hoping they'd have some good horses, like, before. Anything good up here? Nope. Will I die? No, I'm fine. Because <laughs> I'll be okay. Hey, what kind are you? So, where's me? Hey, I need my horse to come over here. <laughs> I need to see the difference. Maybe there's a better one, but I like my horse. Oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah, look at look how good he is. Like, okay, my, my horse is good. I was hoping they'd have better horses, like the ones they had before. But it's okay. You're a scoundrel. Twin? My friend. You there? Yeah. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? <laughs> I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milk sop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell! Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy! Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. <laughs> Very silly. I've got the good aim. Don't worry. Is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay then. Oh god, <laughs> such a bad idea. Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> that was fun. Whew, what was it? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. <laughs> I don't want to miss, so... Yes! Ha. Ha. Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps! Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! Ready? Oh god. You're deranged! If you miss them. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. <laughs> oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady <laughs> have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and oh, talents. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, <laughs> I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, my sweet. <laughs> Arthur's like, what the fuck? A dollar eighty-six, that's it. That's it. Also, how did my hair get longer in ten seconds? I literally, you guys watched me get a haircut. Like, what, what in the world? Morning. Morning. Oh, hello. Don't need to think Been a while. It's just a game. Don't need to think that hard. It's just a game. Now Barbara. that is some serious undergrowth up top there, friend. Oh, well, I got my hair cut, and then want? all of a sudden it wasn't cut. I don't know what happened. Okay. 
that's done. Facial hair. I did it full off. Because we start a new town. I wanted to do a clean shave. Now, will it stay? I don't know why it didn't stay last time. I even paid for it, too. I better stay, is all I'm saying. You shouldn't have come back here for chit chat. You gonna sit down? Right. You just cut my hair. What do you mean, chit chat? I just paid you. <laughs> These bartenders, man. Okay. That's cute. Um. Let's go up to the the mountains. I'm gonna need a thick coat though, so let's buy one really quick. If my wife saw you come in here after what you did to me, she'd kill you herself. Don't what did I do to you? Get what you need and go. <laughs> no more nonsense from you. Here's the catalog. He's <laughs> so mad. Uh, I'm sorry. I just need a jacket before I go up to the mountains. Thanks. Let's see, which one's the best? Definitely not that one. Don't I have an outfit with my coat on? Wait, I actually think I have an I outfit on my horse with the coat on. So get on with it. Hold on, let me go see. Then I'll come back. <laughs> I'm pressing B as fast as I can. It takes so long. I should be able to just exit. <laughs> I think I had one on my horse. Oh, Jack Don, you left the what? Oh, pal. Okay, let's see. This is the gunslinger. It's an old outfit. Oops, I didn't want to fault my gun. Oops, I didn't want to do that either. That's that one. I need to fix my outfits <laughs> at the camp. Okay, so we need a jacket. Damn it. I didn't want to have to buy a jacket, but I don't want to wear that other outfit. I want to look at least good. <laughs> so, buy a new jacket at least. Fine, alright. This is the catalog. <laughs> you love me, shopkeeper. Don't even deny it. Um. Clothing. I wanted coats. I wanted to just look at them. This one I have. I ain't gonna stay patient forever. Get down to business. I'm gonna kinda want this one. But better color at least. Something that'll match my outfit. I kinda like that color. Okay, cool. I got things to tend to, so get on with it. New jacket, kinda looking cute. Kinda matches the vest I bought that I will try to figure out an outfit for her to look better. Kinda don't match right now. Okay, Arthur. <laughs> Boy. Um. I wanted to go a very long ways away. I need to get rid of that. So I don't get lost. I wanted to explore. Maybe up here? Tempest Rim. I don't want to go this way. Oh, you have to go up to go that way. We'll go here. First. Oh, it's that way. Oh, Jesus, dog, please. I don't want to murder you. Oh, my God. It's giving me a heart attack. What up? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> I hope I'm dressed well enough for 
going up to that. Are you good? Are you okay? Hey, mister. He's watching. He's always watching. Who? He's never talking. <laughs> they won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> Well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. They come for me, but I'm watching. Who? Yeah. I, I never sleep. I, I never do. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I hope you get forgiveness one day. I should kill more animals so I can put them on his butt. <laughs> Keep him nice and warm. Easy. I want the spring filled. Okay, let's see. That work. Okay, let's go that way. Oh, I think my health's slowly being drained by the cold. I wonder what I can do to make that not happen. This animal is decomposing in the long derby skin. Does it mean that one? <laughs> Probably. I was like, what does it mean? I just killed it. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> And we're gonna take this to the trapper and get better outfit. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess you can't really do anything Let's with it. Well, until I get an outfit that I can wear. <laughs> I haven't found any ja like big jackets that okay. will work. Uh, let's just go back, I guess. Sad. I was hoping that that would work, but it didn't. Please, you gotta help me out here. I don't got room for you. I'm sorry. I really don't. I can't. Uh, I don't have room for you. What the hell? Look what we got here. Be a man about this. I don't think I can put him on. It's my thing. I'm gonna make you regret this, you dumb piece of shit. Ah, good lord! <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> no escape for you. I don't think I have room for him, sadly. So, I don't know what we're gonna do. How close is Rhodes? Oh, it's not that far. I don't wanna leave my thing. If I stow him? Now the fun no, yeah, I can't steal him. Okay, you get off. Okay, I'm gonna put you down here. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up this. I'm gonna stow that. Mother God! And I'm gonna get on. And I'm gonna grab my lasso. Why can I not lasso him? Okay, maybe cut him free. 
Okay, cut him okay. free. Okay. I am so sick. Whoa. Whoa. It's over, cocksucker. Least hit. Oh. <laughs> I'll blow your Ooh. face off. How is he so fast? Okay. And then hold on to that. Nice, we're still. Oh, damn it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Follow me. I feel awful. Are you okay? I'll, I'll walk slower. I just can't. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. I just can't carry both at the same time and this is the only way to do it. I find it so funny. This is hilarious. Not as much fun as you thought. Whoa! Why is this guy angry at me? You're annoying me, dude. Look, you got this guy killed. My god. What an annoying person. Fine. I guess I gotta do it one at a time. <laughs> it's okay. I need to go to the donation. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, here they all are. Cool. So we have a poor. Box pelt. Well, the quality's a bit lacking. We won't get much for it. Don't need this, this, this. Let's see if we can get anything. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. And losers in this world. So, I want to do my kit. What confuses me about you, old man, is, is you're a loser. What is Micah going on about? I ain't got lost yet. <laughs> you know, I love it when you enlighten us with Just these remember, philosophy lessons. My items are one of a kind. I don't know how we managed before you joined us. I need perfect I everything. Man, okay. Us, I reckon I'm gonna think about too it. Too much time and energy on weaklings like you. Me and Dutch go back a long way. Andy feels bad for you. That's why you're still here. What? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that things ain't got no use. Should be put out of their misery. I got so annoyed. You just tried, huh? I was only joking, old man. Don't go and wet your bed again. <laughs> Why can I always only greet him? I just want to antagonize him. Let me antagonize him, game, please. Okay, um, we're actually gonna call it there though, because I have been playing really long. Well, I'm calling it there. I might do some stuff like hunting a little more in the next ones, because I really want to increase my satchel and get that legendary one. It seems like it all has to be done with perfect pelts, which is just lovely. So I'm going to try to do that. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, I might do it like, I might not record all of it. We'll see, because I might have to do it at some weird times, and I don't know how long it's going to take. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Huge thanks to my patrons, and I will see you guys in the next one.